Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Moulinex Multi-Chef, quite old food processor. I really like it. We've had this one for a couple of years and we've had another one very similar, exactly the same in fact, for maybe 30 years. I think it's been in the family since new, 35 years, something like that. It does chopping and that kind of thing. It has a interlock so you can't turn it on unless the thing is engaged and the lid is on properly. It's got this plastic thing and you know, that's liable to break off, but in 35 years it hasn't. And I've got, I bought one on eBay for like 10 quid or something because, because they're so good. And I was thinking about buying a new one. Anyways, customer states, it doesn't work. And I thought, oh, I don't wanna have to take this thing apart because these are, they can be rotten inside. And I looked at it and thought, hmm, cord grip, eh? Let's get in here. Try and do this, let's get that out of the way and get a bit more light on here. Let's try and do this here with a pen knife. If I can today, probably not the easiest thing to do. Quite an old plug, because it has no plastic shield there. Oh yes, okay, easy peasy. There's your problem. Um, the live is just broken. It's just uh, sheared because the cord grip ain't working. So, how to wire a plug, says you. I know that already. Well, the main point of this video is not how to wire a plug because, well, I don't know that anybody knows how to wire a plug anymore given the state of affairs that we live in. This is gonna be trickier with a pen knife now. But it's more of an observation on mending things. Everything at some point can be repaired, but it generally, generally isn't. How many tools can I use on this pen knife? generally isn't things aren't repaired things are thrown away so this machine cost 20 quid because somebody else probably threw it away and a reseller was selling it i imagine i can't really imagine i guess some householders will keep something like this for 30 years and not bring them to the waste recycling center so i've trimmed the wires let's offer it through this i'll give them a little twist first i like doing that the point is here you can fix things it's not hard, it's not difficult. Let's put that one in first while we're here. Get rid of that scissors. You'll tell me later on, oh, if you turned on the light on your camera, this video would be 10 times better. Perhaps, now let's give this a twist back like that and check that my screw is open. You're not here to, for how to wire a plug, you're here for how to fix things. And the hardest thing, I've made it, put up a video of taking, a playlist on YouTube of taking stuff apart, it's worth having a look. I put up another playlist of fixing things and generally speaking, there's kind of a knack to knowing how things break. You gotta start somewhere, Gener generally, generally, on an electrical appliance, the fuse is a good place to start. Right, so we're in. Look at that fuse holder, that's a different type of, older type of one. Let's put that on there, screw back in. In fact, before I put that screw back in, let's tighten up these guys. So we've shortened the cable ever so slightly so that we can get the cord grip around. Is that sheared? I suspect. That's not gripping. The screws and the cord grip aren't gripping anymore. Now, should I get a new plug for it? Yeah, they're just spinning. Well, I won't. What I'll do is I'll wait for it to break again, because if it breaks, it's just gonna pull the cable out. It's not gonna cause any damage to anyone. No power, um, especially if it comes out of the plug end. If the cable was coming out of the end of the machine, then you'd have a live cable and that would be dangerous, but that's not what's happening. I could find a plug for it. I have a bucket of old used ones out in the shed. That would involve a journey. Let's plug it in and see if anything happens here. As easy as that. Less than five minutes and me talking nonsense at the same time. What do you think, Moulin X? Sometimes things are broken, sometimes they're not. 
you go. I despair. <laughs> Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.